when you're vulnerable and honest about everything, it opens up everyone else to be the same and you just have a totally authentic space. I do want to be someone that younger trans people can look up to and say, hey, if he can do it, so can I. And I think that the younger trans generation needs stories of happy trans people. And I want to create and contribute to that. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm 23 and I'm a transgender videographer and actor. It took a while to grow into who I am. Before I transitioned, I did not feel like myself. I think I was just trying to fit into the role that society gave me. I really started questioning when I was about 15, and that's also when I discovered what transgender meant. Because prior to high school, I had no idea that this was a route that was possible for me. I didn't know of many transgender people and much less transgender men. I found the first trans man on YouTube who was documenting his transition. And so I was watching him and his changes and he was talking about how he felt and I realized it was exactly the same. <laughs> like that, like thank you. <laughs> as soon as I finished watching that video, that one video, I knew that he was me and that I was gonna have one hell of a journey from then on. I started my YouTube channel in 2014. Well, hello there. The first video I put out was my coming out video. I was just introducing myself as Ryan and explaining that I was doing this thing called transitioning from female to male. I got my first shot of tea um, when I was 18. I didn't even know how to feel after it happened. After it was done, it was so quick. But like the first thought I was had was like, oh man, I have so much testosterone in my body. Like I could already feel it working. But it, it took time. The first month, I noticed just a little bit of change of the voice. So each month was just like a little bit more than the next. There was also a lot of hair growing. <laughs> and the facial hair, which is what I really wanted. Initially, I did it for me because I wanted to see my changes through time and just be able to look back <laughs> and see how far I came. I did not expect the response that I got at all because people were so supportive. At a certain point, I realized that it was beneficial for other people. I think when I started communicating more with other transgender people because of my channel. Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to run through my skincare routine and realizing that there was a lot of younger trans kids out there that needed some guidance and didn't know what to do. And having gone through the process, knew that if someone was able to do that for me when I was first starting out, that would have been amazing. That's basically how I'm able to advocate for trans men is by being visible and sharing my story. My name's Deborah. I'm Ryan's girlfriend and we've been together for two years and eight months. And a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be specific, yeah. I feel like a lot of people have seen being transgender as like a taboo or very frowned upon, but it's really not. So him talking about it so comfortably and being so welcoming just makes it seem like you're welcomed, you're loved, and it's nothing to be ashamed about. Like you really need to just like love yourself and there are people who are gonna love you for it. I'm just so proud of him because it does take a lot to be vulnerable because there are a lot of people that would just like bash you for anything. But I feel like he does a really good job at just being who he is and being supportive and being loving and not letting those comments really bring him down. I'm gonna show you exactly how I cleared my skin up. Let's go. The advice I would give someone who's questioning their gender identity is that you don't have to figure it all out right now. I know that it feels urgent and that you want all of the changes to happen right now. And they will come, but it's crucial to give yourself that time to grow and process the changes that you're about to go through because it is such a big life change. 
I was thinking for this one to do my skincare routine. Mm. I do want to pursue my dream of being an actor and being able to represent trans men on screen also. Or if not being in front of the camera, I also love being behind the camera and making videos. Ultimately, trusting myself and trusting the timing of my life has been one of the biggest lessons that I've learned this far. For me, trans just means within the word transition. So I mean, it's from one place to another. And I think I did do that. I did jump from one place to another and I'm in a much better place now.